between day one and day two? What happened? It seemed like day two y'all were dialed in more. Um, yeah, I think, you know, day one we kind of went in and we kind of had an idea of how it was going to go. Um, and when it didn't go exactly as we planned, I think we kind of um, let that get in our heads a little bit. Um, and day two we just came in and, and we were going to fight all the way through and that's what we did. And so I think that's the difference that you saw and, you know, it showed in the score, but it also showed in our gymnastics and just like helping us build confidence as a whole. So, What do you take from saying, uh, what do you, what do you, Sarah kind of mentioned this, obviously the all-rounders, there, there were a couple of missed routines over the regional, but then again, y'all had other people step up and, and really uh, respond when it's like, okay, you got to perform or we're going to have a bad score on this event. So, and y'all did that. Uh, so how, how, what, do you, what do you take from, from that for nationals? Um, yeah, I mean, obviously two days in a row is harder than one day, but there's a reason that we have six people and only five scores count. And so I think, you know, all year that's the same. And so you obviously want everyone to do their best, but um, that doesn't happen all the time. And so that's why we have an extra person. What do you do? Uh, I'm, I'm sure you've, you've um, had to encounter, every gymnast has encountered this. What do you do when... You, you have an event that just kind of gets you, you know, a couple of times. And and, uh, and, and how do you avoid that from becoming mental or bec becoming a, a chronic thing? How do, you, how do you fight through that when, you, when you're like, you know, okay, this is just, you know, I, I know what to do, but this is, I've made this you know, mistake a couple of times now in competition. Um, yeah, that's actually something I've been working on. But um, I think you just have to trust in your training. And, you know, like we come in here and we do the same thing in the gym every day. It just... Sometimes when you get to the meet, you change your mindset for some reason. And so you kind of have to get back into the, you know, your flow of things, get your confidence back, and just trust yourself, really. We just now that you're at the finish line, what are your thoughts? Uh, it's kind of been a wacky season like any other. And, um, you know, how's your chance to, to close it out? Um, yeah, I mean, I'm – just grateful that we got to have a season. We weren't really sure about that, so that was nice. And um, just making it as far as we have and having the opportunity to go win a national championship is amazing. And so I think we're just going to make the most of it. It's kind of a weird question, but are you excited to compete in uh, nationals under a different coach? Just to see, you know, a different style. Or I know Jay's kind of been there the whole time, but is it? I don't know. I mean, it'll be slightly different if it's something else, right? Yeah. Um, I mean, I think just in general, this whole year has been different. And so um, being able to go and compete is exciting just in general with everything, all the changes, COVID, everything. And so I think, yeah, we're just really excited to go out there and be able to compete. Uh, Tammy, what, um, what, what, Okay, now it's now it's another the, the postseason. The meets are all kind of the same with the with the the, the podiums and the and maybe not podiums in Salt Lake City, but the, all the routines go on at the same time. And yeah, how how prepared are you guys? You, you think overall with the younger gymnasts, uh, you know, you count a lot of the younger gymnasts, uh, you know, mm -hmm. in, in your lineups. To, to uh, how prepared are you for that now? You think? Um, yeah, I think uh, last regionals definitely helped us prepare for that, just because you know you can explain everything and you can practice it in the gym but it really is different when you go out there and you've never done it before and when you have over half the team that's never done it it's new um, but I think you know at this point we've we've had regionals we've been there we've done that and so I think moving forward you know we're ready we know what to expect and so that's I think we're ready you come from a, a gymnastics family obviously are, are you uh, have you, are, have you been aware of what's going on around the country this year? It seems like it seems pretty wide open going into this nationals. All top eight, the top eight advance. Y'all are one of a handful of five or six teams that's going 198, but there's there's some capable teams below you too. Obviously, it seems like whoever is hot and hitting for two days is going to advance and going to win. Do uh, you have any thoughts on that? Um, yeah, I mean, I think you know that's kind of the point at this point in the season is just to see who's the best, and um, it really does come down to that one day and who has their best day and um, maybe who doesn't but you know I think everyone's 
excited to go. Everyone's had the same season that we have, and so I think everyone's going to come in hot and fighting, and so we're just going to do the same thing. And how, how ready, how, how, how much belief do you all have in yourselves, do you feel like, at this point, in, in terms of what you want going into nationals, that um, you all can be that team? Yeah, I mean, for sure. I think we all believe that we can be that team, and if we didn't, uh, I don't know if we would be where we are right now. So.